everyone. I thought I would talk to you about something that has always bothered me in um, mystery stories and fiction, and uh, also in movies as well. And that is when the detective um, announces that he's found out who the killer is. And normally he does this by giving uh, a hypothesis on how a murder, for example, might have happened. And then usually what happens is that the killer, realizing that the detective has figured out their method, uh, br breaks down and confesses. And that's how a lot of these uh, murder stories go in Sherlock Holmes and a lot of the Poirot stories. But I've always thought that there's uh, some logical errors in that because although the detective might come up with a logically sound hypothesis for how a crime could have been committed, that doesn't mean they they have they actually have any proof or evidence of that, and you you can't you can't arrest you can't arrest someone on, simply based on a, a theory, no matter how sound it seems. You actually need some kind of um, evidence, whether that comes in the form of uh, physical evidence or an eye or eyewitness account or something of that nature. You can't just say, well, this is how how it could have happened, and therefore. Um, they are, um, therefore, they are the murderer. But so often, that's how it happens, is that the detective will give a, a hypothesis of how something could have happened, and then the killer will break down and say, yes, I did it. But the killer really doesn't have to do that. All they have to say, even if the, de the detective has figured out their method, all they have to say is, well, you don't have any real proof or evidence, so um, your theory is null and void. It doesn't matter. You can't arrest someone uh, based on or, or prove that they are a killer based on a theory alone. You need more than that. You need proof. You need evidence. So there really is no reason for the killer to suddenly break down like that just because the detective has figured um, um, out their method because that they don't actually have any evidence or proof. So all they have to say is, well, that's an interesting theory, but where's the evidence? Where's the proof? And uh, I just think that so many uh, mystery stories in that way, but that's because a lot of people don't know how to think about things um, logically, because if you actually thought about it logically, you'd realize that the detective actually doesn't have any proof or evidence. In many cases, they just have a theory and uh, nothing more.